Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a side-by-side -side OS comparison between the gear from Samsung and the Android Wear from Android. So, it's simple and easy process. Basically, this is just how different these two watches are, because really it's in the OS that they're really different. And they both come with companion apps that kind of make it easier for you guys. But with Android Wear, you have really simple um, navigation. And it's mainly dealing with what are called cards. So you swipe up and you have all these cards that are catered towards your information from Google Now. So I like baseball, so I can see the scores on the games. I can see my stocks. And this is where also like text messages, emails, shipping information, all of that kind of stuff would update. On the right side, we have all of our apps. So every app I have on the phone that's compatible from my phone to my watch is right here. So simple and easy to do. And there are some really useful ones. Android Wear has come a long way having uh, far more apps in terms uh, compared to Samsung now. When you swipe down as well, you also have the ability for to see all your notifications. So you can block all notifications, only the priority notifications, or all. When you swipe away, one of my favorite modes in here is theater mode. It's such a simple and easy concept, and one that I personally use every time I go to the movies. It's something that I think all smartwatches should have. You can also swipe over here and do a uh, brightness boost uh, for outside looking and then of course settings is always at the top too. When it comes to the Gear S2 from Samsung, navigation is a bit different. As you saw with swiping everywhere on that one, you can swipe on the Gear S2 but it's more easy to navigate with the ring. So it's a simple process of navigating through the ring and when you're home if you go left, you have your notifications, and if you go right, you have widgets. Something I'm very surprised that, of course, uh, Android doesn't have because, well, they pretty much invented it on our smart mobile devices. You can also add widgets very simply and easily. And if you hit the home button when you're on your watch face, you can go through all the apps. So I think this is a lot better way to just simply go between all of your apps. It's a lot quicker, and then when you want to select one, you just hit right in the middle and select it. So I do find this way a lot better uh, for going through apps. Um, and you can even see recent apps, and you can see all the recent apps you've had open, simple and easy. Uh, and I would just say, overall, between the two interfaces, I like a lot of the features. Uh, the Android Wear has more than it. So theater one is a big miss on the Gear S2, something that Samsung needs to step up with. And of course, Android Wear has more apps. But I find overall the navigation on the Gear S2 to be a lot easier and a lot more useful. I find widgets a lot more useful than cards. And getting to all my apps is a lot easier. Let me know what you guys think down below. Which one do you prefer? Which interface do you prefer overall thank you for watching this has been r-i-c-k-y the android guy